Yeah, for the first time in, well, so that was five days ago, so 328 days uh, ago was the last time that we beat, or that Miami beat a Power 5 team, last December 5th at Duke, until this past weekend. So it was uh, a long time coming, almost a full calendar year, without beating a Power 5 uh, opponent, which is ridiculous for a program of Miami's caliber, regardless of the situation or standard, or, or circumstance, I should say. Uh, but yeah, you know, finally found a way to get a win, um, you know, against a team that uh, we played last year, crossover team from the Atlantic, and uh, backed up some of the noise that we were talking, um, which, you know, also should do your heart good if you're a Miami Hurricane fan, that your quarterback went out there um, and said, you know, we dropped 44 on them last year and were able to throw the ball vertical, so we should be able to do similar things, you know, against them. Da, da, da. Uh, you know, I, know, I think that was a little bit over made but hey talk your shit do your shit you know what i mean like you know live it breathe it be it uh and he did and we ended up with a 31 30 win um and yeah i mean all the glitters is not gold and everything is not perfect but better to get a win than a loss so feel good yeah so this was a game against the team that uh it's not like it's some monumental upset or anything and if you even look at uh, the talent on both sidelines, it's extremely comparable. And if you had to make a selection, you'd actually point to Miami as being the more talented team. North Carolina State was just playing better football and just had something to play for more so than Miami. Although, hey, the Canes with only two losses, two losses, three losses in the ACC. Yeah, yeah. I mean, two losses in the they- ACC still have something to play for. Yeah. yeah, three and four overall. Yeah, just the two in the ACC. So, Although they've been cast aside, and rightfully so, from a perception standpoint of who the better teams in the division and conference are, it's still in play. And now that they've beaten what many people had considered to be the best team in the conference coming into the game and still has to be ranked in the top two or three, you know, you made the comment last week, Cam, that uh, you were going to just kind of let it roll the rest of the season just still watch every game still be rooting hard and everything but just kind of like you know what whatever happens happens i'm just going to try to enjoy the games and whatever happens and who knows but i mean yeah we're in that same uh, you know situation like you know i i don't want to like pile on him because i think that he's a good man i think that and we saw after the game uh you know players are fiercely protective of Manny Diaz, love the guy, want to play for him. You know, even Corey Flagg say, I mean, basically what y'all be talking about out there is some nonsense, you know, and it's not that we don't like him. And again, it's when we are critical of players, people say, oh, I don't wish the player, Ill. I don't want the person ill. They just can't do the job. And I think that's where we are with Manny Diaz. So I've been done with Manny Diaz since Michigan State. Since Mel Tucker said they were some punks, we're going to take them to the deep end of the ocean and make them drown. They're going to try and get us tired in that Miami heat. We're going to show them who's about that life and who's not. That was the day I was done with Manny Diaz. Transparently. You all know this about me. So I'm not dumping on the guy or anything. But, you know, like, there's still much to be desired. But, you know, it is, you know, mathematically still possible to win the Coastal. Obviously, that's been a division that's been uh, rife with parity over a long period of time. Uh, the entirety of Miami's tenure in the ACC, for example. Um, You know, so that is possible and everything. And we're going to go out here and we're going to see what happens this week and the week after that and the week after that. Um, But, like, I mean, we've already doubled the losses I predicted that we were going to have this year. You know, I said if we're going to be all in on a year with the talent we had coming back and the individuals who comprised that talent coming back, this would be the year. Um, So I wish I would have went with my 7-5 and and prove me wrong that I've been doing the last couple of years. But, you know, hey. You live and you learn. But, yeah, no, I'm in that same spot. Like, I'm still, you know, rooting for this team. I I love, 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 love this youth movement that's going on. We're going to talk about that a little bit more in a moment. But, I mean, there are things to enjoy for sure. But I'm not going to just be, you know, it's not life or death with every third down anymore for me. Not this year. Yeah, for your own mental and emotional health, it can't be at some point. Mm -hmm. That's all there is to it. And especially if you don't trust the leadership in place.